Welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this classic carrot cake. It's so good, y'all. Just in time for the holidays, you gotta make this. All right, we're gonna get started on this classic carrot cake. Now, this is one of my favorite cakes. Uh, if I'm not eating a chocolate cake, I, I like a carrot cake and a red velvet, which red velvet actually it does have chocolate in it, y'all. A lot of people don't know that, but yeah, red velvet does. And, uh, but anyway, I like a carrot cake, and this is a really simple cake. It's very um, just straightforward and nothing fancy to it. It's a classic carrot cake, which means it doesn't have any extra add-ins in it. It just has carrots and cinnamon and just the regular, no raisins. Some people put uh, coconut and stuff like that in their carrot cake and pineapple and things, but this is just a good old classic carrot cake. And uh, you wanna start out mixing your wet ingredients first. You wanna put four eggs in a mixing bowl. This is four large eggs at room temperature. You want them to be room temperature. You're going to add in um, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Little bit more it don't matter just eyeball it and you're going to do two cups of sugar and you're going to do one and a half cups of vegetable oil and for a uh, for a carrot cake or a red velvet cake I like to use canola oil I don't use a lot of canola oil but when it comes to these cakes Canola oil is um, makes them better. Makes them so much better, like moist and they're not dry. So all you do, this comes together pretty quick. You're going to combine that together. You're going to, this is your wet, uh, your wet ingredients. And when you stir that together, Now you're going to um, do your dry. So your dry is not that hard. It's two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm using white lily all-purpose flour for this. And you're going to need a quarter teaspoon each of cinnamon, baking powder, and baking soda, and salt. And you just add that together. And I always say, now if you have my cookbook, this is in my cookbook, um, for, the, for the seasonings, like for the baking powder and everything, uh, I always recommend doing heaping. So do heaping, quarter teaspoon of uh, cinnamon, and actually it's not a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. It is a teaspoon of cinnamon, I'm sorry. So you're gonna do a heaping teaspoon of cinnamon a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and baking soda, and you're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of salt. So there you go. That's the correction, sorry about that. I thought, man, there's more cinnamon than that. So you just stir them together, and you're just gonna add this right into your wet ingredients which doesn't take long. I told you it comes together really good. I don't even use a mixer for it most time. I just mix it with, just mix it by hand. Now for the carrots, you, for you, you want them freshly shredded or grated, um, grated. <laughs> you don't want to use those pre-shredded carrots or anything, y'all. You want to do fresh, carrots because you don't want them um, fresh is just better and they're nice and juicy you want all the juices in there uh, don't use I don't use some people use uh, baby food and stuff when they're making a carrot cake I don't recommend that <laughs> I recommend real carrots the real thing y'all so just mix this together 
And you see it's nice and smooth. So you come together really quick. Fold in your carrots. Two cups. And just stir it together. Don't over mix, there's no need to. Once it's all combined, it's ready. Now you can bake this in two eight inch uh, cake, round cake pans, or you can bake this in a bunt pan. And I'm gonna actually do mine in a bunt pan today. And your oven needs to be preheated to 350 degrees. There we go. it in. Now let's get my pan. Now it's already been floured and greased. So, or you can use a really good, I like Baker's Joy. Uh, you can just grease it, but make sure it's been well greased and floured or sprayed really good with like Baker's Joy or something. So let me get my spatula. All right, so I got me a spatula. I'm just gonna, you wanna pour the batter in your, pour it all in there. Get it all in. Y'all, I love, I want, what's your all's favorite cake? I, I'm a chocolate cake girl, but like I said, I do like this kind of cake. I like a carrot cake. And some people don't like frosting on their cakes. Now this is gonna to be topped with a cream cheese frosting. And uh, to me, it's the best for a carrot cake. But some people don't like frosting on them. But I, I do do a molasses cake and I think it's best without frosting. So a lot of people don't put it on there. So, all right, you're just going to tap it a little bit and so it's going to go in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes until um, you put a toothpick in there and it comes out clean. So I'm going to bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes. Keep an eye on it. Don't want to over bake it. But after about 40 minutes, I will check on it and then it'll be ready to put the frosting on. All right, the cake is done. Took mine about 45 minutes. And I'm gonna let it cool off. Now it's gotta cool off, of course, before I put the frosting on. I said, when it comes out, we put the frosting on it. Gotta let it cool off, y'all. Never do that. You'll learn your lesson if you try to put frosting on a warm cake. So I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit, then I'm gonna flip it out onto a wire rack and let it cool down completely to room temperature and then it'll be ready to put the delicious frosting on it to make show y'all how to make cream cheese frost and this is a like a smaller batch um if you want to double this you can but this is just going to be a smaller batch um this is an eight ounce block of cream cheese full fat cream cheese and a stick one stick of unsalted butter that's softened so I have this in my stand mixer, the paddle attachment, and I'm just going to blend the cream cheese and the butter and fill it fluffy. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm going to add in about four cups of powdered sugar. And you're going to beat that together until it's uh, fluffy and smooth. All right, y'all. Look at this cake. It turned out so good. Mmm. Y'all. Now it's time to put the frosting on. Finally. <laughs> Finally time to put the frosting on. And I'm just going to just cover it. All the way around, I just top it. I like a lot of frosting on a cake, to be honest with you. So, but this is a bunt cake, so there's only so much you can put on. But for layer cakes, I really like the frosting on. So, but this was 
This is a plenty, this is plenty good frosting though for it. And now if you wanted to, you could mix in some crushed or chopped pecans in this frosting. Some people like pecans with carrot cake, or you can just top it with, um, with some pecans. And either way is good. I like them with or without, to be honest with you. I like it with or without. Because I love pecans anyway, but Kenzie and Roger, sometimes for cakes and stuff, they they don't want nuts in them most of the time. So I'll just leave this off. So I want to frost it all the way around, get it covered really pretty light, and then we'll come back. Do you want me to? All right. These are my taste testers for this <laughs> carrot cake. Mmm. Mm. I'll help for it. Is it good? Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> Here. Here it comes the airplane. Mm. <laughs> that's so good. Yeah, that okay is good. Okay, for the airplane. I'm going to do an airplane. I always do that with my kids at work. Don't actually do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> it's all right. Is it good? Yes, it's very, very good. good. Critique it. Um... The cream, the, oh, the cream cheese, cheese frosting. The cream cheese frosting is, is amazing. Yeah, I, I like Very that. Very cream cheesy. Let's get Very apart good. just the cake. Mm, yeah. Not dry enough. Mm -hmm. Good. You, I, I think it's good you can see the carrots in it. Mm -hmm. You definitely but know you what you're eating. You don't taste the carrots. Yeah, they're not like yeah. chunky. Right. You don't, you don't taste the carrots. The carrots just give an extra sweetness and moisture. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Papa ate all his. He ate yeah. all his. <laughs> It All is right. very good. All right, hope y'all make it. This is in my cookbook. So the carrot cake recipe is classic carrot cake. It's in my cookbook, Mountain Cook on Missy. Piece? No. And I hope y'all try it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Thank y'all for watching Mountain Cook on Missy, where it's nothing fancy. Just, Just good. good.